factorize. So the first step of factorizing is always to try to do a common factor, okay? So here we cannot take out a common factor. There's no common number between those and they don't all have an X, so we can't take out a common factor. Then you should try difference of squares, difference of squares, but that only works when you have two terms. The next one is a trinomial. Yep, this is a trinomial, but this trinomial is a little bit more challenging than your normal trinomial because this number in the front is not a one. So this is that technique that I've showed before where you have to do this, you know? So you gotta take um, this number. So you take the two and you write out two as one times two and two times one. For the five, that can be written as one times five and five times one. Okay, now we're gonna choose a, a number over here and you're gonna choose a number over here. Just choose whatever you like. Okay, so I'm gonna choose, for example, this one and this one, and you're gonna multiply them. So what is one times one? It's one. Now you have to choose the opposite, so that the opposite of this one would be this one, and the opposite of this, sorry, the opposite of this one is this one. So we're gonna choose that, and we're gonna choose that now. And now you're gonna go and multiply those two together. So what does that give you? Well, five times two is 10. Now can a one and a 10 ever make this number in the middle? Never. 10 minus one is nine, one plus 10 is 11. You're never gonna get to a three. So you restart the whole process by, by choosing a number um, over here, and then you choose a number over here. And let's see what, what happens. So one times five is five. You then have to choose the opposite, okay? So that would be this number and this number, and you multiply those two together. So one times two is two. Now you've got to look at the five and the two and think about, could you make this number in the middle a three? Yes, you could, by having five minus two. Okay, so we found the correct combination, so now we open up our brackets. Now, the top two numbers that we chose, the top, in the top row, you see this is a, this is like a, a line over here, in the top we have a one and a one, so you're going to put a one and a one, and then you're going to put a two and a five, because we chose those at the bottom. Now obviously these first parts need the x. Okay, now, if you multiply these two over here, that's five x, but we wanted the five to be a positive, so you're gonna put a positive over there. Now if you multiply these two, that gives you two x, but we wanted that to be a negative, so you're gonna put a negative over here. Because if you then had to multiply this, this would give you five, and this would give you minus two, and together that would give you three. Okay, but here is the answer. We have factorized it. You don't have to say 1x if you don't want. You can just say x.